So, um, today, since Halloween is in like two or three or four days, I don't know what day it is today, but Halloween will be on Wednesday. Um, I think it's time to carve some pumpkins because, you know, that just means Halloween. So, this is clearly a professional tutorial, and I clearly know how to carve pumpkins and paint pumpkins and just do all of the above. So, obviously, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a pumpkin and then also how to carve a pumpkin because I have two pumpkins right here. Yay! These pumpkins, if you want to go buy one, are from the grocery store. Two for eight dollars. Wow, we love that. And, um, yeah, let's get started. Um, so first you're going to need, um, like a, a bowl to put your discarded stuff in and the reason there's already some stuff in here is because I didn't want to cut my fingers off so I had my mom cut open the top of the pumpkin because I don't want to do that and then for the painted pumpkin I'm going to be modeling it after this picture right here so you can clearly tell you need a paintbrush some masking tape and um, some paint and then for the carved pumpkin which will be this one that I'll be modeling it after you will be needing this colossal carving kit or a spoon and a knife and a sharpie let's get started with the painting one because that one seems easier and the easier way is always the better way so um as you can tell i obviously know what i'm doing because i've obviously done this like eighty thousand times before um i'm going to write the letters boo onto the pumpkin I'm obviously like um, a clear art student, so obviously I know how to write things. And doesn't that just look fantastic? Yeah, it does. So um, then uh, let's put the masking tape on because we all love masking tape. Oh, and uh, by the way, you put this on so then the black paint doesn't get on the letter. And wow, look at the masking tape, how beautiful. <laughs> and now clearly like the picture, I had to do that weird like dripping thing, you know, where it like drips down to make it look like it's bleeding. So um, let's try that and then I should be done. Then I just have to let it dry before I can pull all the masking tape off. You don't think this looks like the picture then you're correct because it doesn't look like the picture as a painter I can give you some techniques um, don't paint your hands don't paint your shoes and don't paint your clothes and the sad thing about carving pumpkins is they'll eventually start to rot but that's okay because that's the circle of life And now all we gotta do is wait for my masterpiece to dry. So um, why don't we just go carve the other pumpkin? And we're gonna carve it into a mountain shape because that's so spooky. So um, you have to first cut the stem off, which I was not responsible for. And boom. And now you obviously have all of this whatever's going on in here, which you gotta take out and put into the, your bowl. And, um, yeah, there are gonna be a lot of spaghetti strings in here, so you gotta get all those out. And once you feel like you've reached your spaghetti string capacity, then, um, carving time! And, um, now it's time for the drawing the stencil thing on it, and as I know how to draw this, I don't have to look at the picture at all. <laughs> yeah. And um, as you can see, this outline looks amazing, and now it's time to, um, you know, cut it out. Well, this is such an arm workout, I don't know why this is so difficult. How do people who do this for a living, well, I don't even know if that exists. Oh, look, it's coming onto my hand. That's great. 
then once you're done stabbing the pumpkin, then you can push it through. And yeah, so um, that obviously looks like a mountain range, but um, now we gotta add the stars because that's important. Now that just looks like a bunch of weird holes, but you know what? Let's just get it cleaned up a little. So um, that definitely uh, doesn't look too terrible. It definitely could look a lot better, but you know what? That's okay. The real test is to see how it looks when it gets dark out, which it is not dark out yet, but um, let's just see how that one looks when it's dark out and how the other one looks when it's dry. And as it is now Halloween and I am in my leopard onesie from when I was like from last year, now it's time to see how the pumpkins turned out. Yay! Um, painted one kind of looks not great. So uh, this is how it be looking, not great, but you know, let's peel off the masking tape and see. Okay, so, um, yeah, we are not looking great, but you know what? It looks kind of cool. It's just, it does not look like it says the word boo at all. That definitely does not say boo. It looks like a couple of gravestones, but you know what? It could look a lot worse. So, you know what? It's a solid, like, 3.77 out of 10. Um, yeah, now let's look at the other one. So, um, here it is without the lights in it. You know, it doesn't look terrible. It could definitely look better, but, um, let's see what it looks like with the lights in it. So, um, that definitely looks way cooler in the dark. Um, um, that actually doesn't look that bad. I give it a solid like 8.56 out of 10, you know, could be a little bit better, but also could be a lot worse if you could tell with the first one, but um, yeah, yay. Happy Halloween.